blitz the last two weeks. Mike Rob, I yes. think you talked about this last week too. Yes, I did. 193 yards on 20 attempts with a passer rating of 129.8, the second best mark in the yes. league. In two weeks. We should add too that the Bears, they could slide up to that two seed with a mm. win and that Rams loss. So they're obviously going to play their starters, but they're going to scoreboard watch a little bit and see they if the Rams are up big, then they'll probably pull their starters. But Mike Rob, where do you think this game will be won? Yeah, uh, Kirk Cousins against the Blitz, right? I'm glad you showed that that, that graphic because uh, the reason why he's been blitzed so much uh, in the last couple of weeks is because teams are run blitzing. They've, they've averaged 160 rush yards over the last couple of weeks. And, and, and when teams are blitzing with the intent of stopping the run as opposed to blitzing the quarterback, the quarterback has some, some holes down the football field. And, and Kirk Cousins is definitely benefiting from this new offensive coordinator running the football a lot more. But I tell you one thing when you go up against the Chicago Bears defense. Different story. It's Woo. a different story. They take the ball from you. Now, it depends on what type of intensity this defense is going to be playing with now that they're scoreboard watching. But, I mean, 37 takeaways of this season, number one in the National Football League. Kirk Cousins does not always play well in big games. So um, I expect possibly some turnovers or something like that, especially if the Chicago Bears have to play real defense the entire game. Mike Rob, this Bears defense the last three weeks, too, has been incredible. They've allowed 10.7 points per game in 10? those three weeks. One total touchdown allowed. You Zero touchdown team? passes I'm and my head. six <laughs> interceptions. Like, they have been just on fire, a completely different level. Championship defense, guys. This, this defense can travel, it can win a game for you, and it can mitigate some of the, some of the inconsistencies from having a young quarterback. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's going to be the, the, the best insurance policy for the Chicago. They, they, they played mind games with Kirk Cousins the last time they played mm -hmm. and, and, and forced him into making some questionable decisions, which they're going to try and do again today. You remember the books as a kid, the choose your own adventure, you yeah. jump the page, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what the Bears are in today as far as they can control who they play because we're expecting an Eagles win against uh, the, the Redskins. Colleen, you're right. I mean, it sounds like they're just going to go full bore for the first half and then kind of figure out where they are at halftime and say, okay, should we continue to play this? Are, are the Niners hanging with the Rams in that game? So if you are an Eagles fan, you want to be rooting for the San Francisco 49ers today mm -hmm. because that will keep the Bears in it as long as possible. But the minute that they realize, you know what, it's over, it doesn't matter, those guys are coming off the field and they're going to chill out a little bit from what I was told. What I love about that is when you look at Mitch Trubisky, he is averaging – right in those first 15 plays or what we call scripted plays he's unbelievable he's he's above 70 percent passer uh passer rating he's in a hundreds right but after we get off script when he's when he no longer has to be told what to do and he has to actually uh, look at the defense and know what's going on. Everything falls down 63 percent. He's a little bit. He's obviously below 100. But what can negate all of that is when you run. The, I keep saying this and it's killing wow. me. Wow. Running the ball freeze, when you brother, give freeze. Jordan Howard 50 percent or more of offensive plays. They just are a different team. They run the ball. But what that does that allows the defense to pin their ears back and just go after the quarterback of the opposing team because now that opposing team, that offense coordinator, he gets antsy. He gets impatient. And he needs to push the ball down the field immediately. He can no longer do a slant and then do the go later. He has to immediately, what we call a sluggo, he has to go to slant and go immediately. He becomes impatient. And that is extremely important for the success of the Chicago Bears. And I hate saying it, run game and strong defense. But that is what Sound is... like the Baltimore Ravens. He does. That's and that's what... Today. I'm done talking. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm done. Go ahead, Colleen. Yeah. I'm done. Rap. We rapping. Yeah. It's true. Oh. The theme today has just been run the do. ball. Run game and defense. Yeah. <laughs> Power's down. That's all he's done. All right. We're talking about quarterbacks. Let's keep talking about quarterbacks. Nick Foles. That's his where.